So we're going to make two different versions of almond milk. The first version is where we soak the nuts overnight in cold water and it would be half a cup for half a litre or one cup for a litre of almond milk. The other version is where we soak for half an hour in boiling water. The first version is we're just using the uh, cold soak. So they've been soaked overnight and been drained and rinsed. So we're just going to put them into the blender. Because I've only done half a cup of almonds, we're going to do 500 ml of water. And it's just a matter of making a little bit of noise. muslin cloth, pop that into your sieve and over a bowl. And you can help it through a little bit with a spoon. So when that looks reasonably dry. What I like to do then is just to pick up the edges of your cloth and just give it a little squeeze through. You can see it's nice and creamy. I like to put on a pair of disposable gloves because that then keeps the milk nice and sterile keeps longer that way. So in the fridge this will keep about a week. If you don't wear gloves it will probably only last three days. So that pulp you can see is quite dry. You can use that to make almond biscuits or you can put that into the compost. Okay we're now going to make the second version of almond milk which is using the boiling water to soak the almonds. So this is a good one for uh, just doing in the morning as opposed to soaking overnight. You just boil your water, put that onto your half or one cup of almonds, half a cup of almonds for half a litre of almond milk, or one cup of almonds for a litre of almond milk. So these are soaked for half an hour in boiling water. Now that they've been soaked for half an hour in boiling water, you can see that the skin slip off quite easily. Just have to give them a little pinch. In the time that it takes for the soak to do its work, it's obviously cooled down enough for me to stick my fingers in this bowl of water. So we've got our skinned almonds and we just pop them into the blender. So if you've got half a cup of the skinned almonds, then we have 500 mils of water. Or if you have a cup of almonds, then you want a litre of water. Now this is going to just be blended until it's nice and fine. So you do need to blend this for a little bit longer than the other version because you want this to be a really nice fine pulp because the pulp is going to actually stay within the milk this time. So the last version that we did, there is, there's no sediment. It's just pure, clean almond milk. This one does keep the sediment. You do end up with a little bit more milk out of it and it's less wastage but it is a lot more sedimenty so it's only suitable for if you're going to have it with a nut and seed type muesli whereas the other version which we did before which is, is better for um, smoothies and drinks. We'll just blend this up. Okay, so we've blended up the almonds in the water and you can see it's still just as creamy and smooth and milky but it is just a little bit more sedimenty, if that's a real word. 
nice and frothy. You can see both versions are lovely and white and frothy. This just has a little bit more grit in it. So it's very good for having with muesli and a lot less waste.